Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for joining us again for the 30th annual Tahoe Pro-Am presented by MVP Disc Sports. Again, we are at Bijou Disc Golf Course in South Lake Tahoe. We're looking at the middle nine of a 27 hole course. And my name is Spanky Edwards. I'm joined by my good friend, Cleveland Dan. Welcome back. I'm excited to see this we left the front nine and we're going into the, the more heavily wooded part of the course, so. Yeah, for sure. I think traditionally a lot of people think of like the front as being like the open, like let's score nine. The back's a little bit more techy. Although round one layout, I feel like was set up like for scoring, you know? Sure, yeah. But yeah, definitely it always feels like you leave the front nine and you're like, all right, I have to have to keep it together or get it going because the back definitely plays a little bit more challenging than the front. Was there any scores better than... So there must have been better than five under on the front, or is that not true? That's a good question. And it was tee times, right? So everybody teed off on one? Uh, incorrect. Shotgun oh, start. It was shotgun start. Okay. Sorry, I did not play the tournament for anyone that doesn't know that. Well, I didn't hit a tree. All right, hole 10s, 327. Down to the right... I think I'm like, no, it's right in the, right up the middle, huh? Straight shot. Oh yeah, there it is. Nate probably throwing some type of. That's looking like the best shot yet. Putter. But maybe caught those late right trees. Where Lance miss isn't so bad. He's gonna have a downhill putt at it. We're trying to flex a drone down there. Dylan's gonna go forehand to this left side. Field goal, like a fade to the basket. So yeah, he's gonna have a look. This is what I was saying about Lance's. It's not the worst downhill putt. Gave it a chance, didn't go too far. Mm -hmm. This green can get fast from up there, actually. Mm -hmm. It's a little more slope than it looks. Yes, nice. dude. I forgot about that. Yes. Super happy to see that one land on the bottom of the basket. I said I was excited to see you get things going. That's a smooth putt from Nate right there. That's nice. Super smooth. His timing's on point. Yeah. There's Will with his cart. <laughs> I was joking with him. I was like, we got to do a bit. Like, what's in the cooler? <laughs> I was just going to ask you what's in the cooler. Nah, he had like a little sandwich, maybe a little kombucha. Some water. And it was keeping his cart balanced because he was hanging his bag from the handle, actually. So it was like... Oh. Yeah. That's his son Liam's, like, baby stroller cart or whatever. Yeah, that's yeah. why he's got it. But it is fully functioning disc golf cart as well. I was like, that must be the biggest sandwich ever. Okay, so this is hole 11, par 3, 256. This one is right in front of you. Everybody's going to be going putter or some sort of straight mid-range. There's OB to the left. Uh, doesn't It only comes into play. Oh, maybe for the shot like that. Um, just kidding. But <laughs> it only comes into play if you, if you early release or just full hyzer release. Good tree. Let's see if we can see Dylan throw the putter flip up. That's kind of the play we're looking for. Nate deep, circle two, maybe circle three. Gives it an effort, but... I think this this basket position is definitely like top three. Like you, you, and you're t you're telling yourself, I've got to get this one, and it doesn't always happen. 
because you get scared of that OB that shouldn't come into play, but it does. Or mm -hmm. Just the slightest re late release. There's a tree like right off the tee pad. Dylan showed us how to play the hole. Good birdie, Dylan. Yeah, I'll do the little putter flip up. Got a little meaty comebacker here. Not too thrilled about it. No problem. The yeah, putt's starting to look confident. Did he, was he out of bounds? Oh, he hit early. Oh, okay. And then oh, that's okay. Yeah. Hit, yeah, just short of the green uh, on his approach. Yes, now I remember. Hole 12 up the right side, 334. If you got this shot, it's a pretty good one. You can see the basket there. I think it should be right there. A couple trees to beat late. You think he caught just the back side of that big bush? I think he's past that bush. Oh, okay. Like maybe like under the tree or something. Okay. It kind of looked like he brushed it, but it was hard to tell. Nate crank one out there. This tee pad's got such a sweet view of the mountain. That's Heavenly Ski Resort up there if you're not familiar with the area. I'm going Eagle on the right side, Heiser. Me now. And came out a little bit early down there, but I'm, I think I got a putt. Did you guys have a little right to left wind there? It's hard to tell. I, I, I feel like I know your disc pretty well, and it looked like maybe it just didn't flip up as much as maybe you were hoping. So, right Yeah, I think I just missed my angle by a little bit, honestly. I wasn't sure if it was the wind pulling up against the bottom of the disc or not. Mm -mm. Lance going to pump a forehand. Definitely the shot he's been known for throughout his career. Yeah, although his backhand's nasty now, too. No he, doubt. Yeah, he had an injury <laughs> and only could throw backhand, and it caught up to his forehand, so he's ever more dangerous now. Absolutely. Tough life for Will. I don't mind just pitching it up there and just going to the next hole, you know? Definitely. Lance, just deep of the basket here with his drive. A couple little putts for him this round already, so hopefully we can see him get those up. That's... Unusual mess. We were just talking about how you know how confident his putt has become. Great birdie. Mark it a two. How about that? Great birdie. I I think that this one I'm not gonna say bonus birdie, but I do think it's a good one to get. I don't think it's the one that everybody's getting. It's not a gimme, but I wouldn't say it's super tough. But, no. You know. I just think there's a lot of obstruction. Even on a good drive, you can get caught right behind this tree on the left and you know, or the or the big bush where Will was, and he just had to pitch up to it. So nice, confident comeback there for Dale after airballing the birdie putt. Definitely, it's always pretty important, I think. Nate cleaning up, Will cleaning up. Slide right into hole number thirteen. Lone birdie. I was trying to talk uh, Casey. Come. Sure did. Not a boy. Going eagle here on Heiser. See here. Nice back. <laughs> it looked like a really good shot. I, I, hard to tell, but if anything, it was inside and skip left. But we'll yeah, see we'll we see where there. I ended up. I'm not sure. Yeah. Here's Nate throwing the hyzer line with a backhand. Definitely most traditional play. Some people go right up the gut at it. And I think they're crazy, but <laughs> I've also seen it really successful. So I just Man. think the hyzer is so wide open percentage wise. It makes no sense for me to not take. The I used alive. to try to throw up the middle and then there was a lefty. He used to play here by the name of Tom Witt, very good left-handed golfer. And he goes, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> He's like, put your disc on hyzer and throw it that way. <laughs> And this is the hole I learned Heiser on. Thanks, Tom Witt, if you hear this. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. We miss you, bud. Lance giving an honest bid from about 58 feet. Here's Dale for birdie. Had the height just off his mark a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's like Nate fell around that, but he was close enough. Didn't give him any problems. Good birdie. Dylan, another confident clean-up putt. Yep. 
There's Will cleaning up his par. First to drive, last to putt. Uh oh. Gotta love that. Nice. Dirty, baby. Bird. Nice. Dude, three through four on the middle nine. Let's go. I'm happy. For anyone oh. that hasn't really played at Bijou before, there's kind of like three sections of the course. There's the front nine, then there's the loop, which is what they're playing, which is 10 through 15, and then there's like 16 through 27. And they're kind of like the way the course is broken up. So getting, you know, getting four out of six on the loop is always going to feel pretty solid. So Dan, you're after a pretty good start at three, you know, three through four out of six on this on this yeah. short loop. And then moving forward from here, once we get to hole 16, it's going to really go into what we consider like the gauntlet, where it gets pretty heavily wooded back there. For sure. Lance showing us the line here. Oh my gosh, so close. Good bit from circle two. Is that kind of all you had there? I maybe could have made a bit an effort, better effort, but yeah, I didn't have much. Yeah. Nate just off the cage. Another low one. Wow. Dylan gets the lone birdie on the hole. Way to deliver. That was a nice, confident putt. Taking not too much time, just feeling confident about it and delivering. I like the pro move, leave it in there. <laughs> I trust Nate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. More importantly, Nate trusts Nate. It was on the backside of the basket. I, I mean, honestly, I, I like know. it. If he balked at it like for half a second, I would have grabbed it, but it was like it was pretty fluid, so it just I left it. You know how I feel. Leave it. It's good luck. <laughs> Once you see like one or two nasty ones, like somehow trampling on the bottom, you're like, go get it. I'm gonna take that frisbee out, especially in a you know, for sure, sanctioned event like this. Dylan going forehand on this 268 foot, slightly uphill. I saw him ace it like the week before this on that pin with that disc. Sure did. I was there. I'm trying to flex the crock around that tree, but I missed my line. Still got a putt though. This one's unique. I think that the forehand and the backhand are both good lines. The forehand, you chance hitting those trees on the left and if you don't get close enough to them then you're going to go too far right and then the backhand kind of yeah. requires like a turnover and if you turn it over too much then you're too far right so it's kind of a but to me the perfect shot is one of the prettiest throws out there oh he almost had it almost had that perfect shot and that's what you like straight at it yeah yeah i do i like just flirting with this big tree right in front of us. Good bit there, just short yeah. for Lance. Here I am, maybe at circle's edge. And that's what we're talking about. I love birdies. Four out of six on the loop. That's Solid. what we want. And you can see how it can it can eat some people up and some people's game like works for it and it's just a it's a straight i feel like it's a strange short loop of holes that it's we know we can get every one of them but it doesn't always happen and it's you know just i always feel good leaving there with four out of six nice birdie for nate good putt Yeah, Dylan and Lance is cleaning up their pars here. All right, let's move over to hole number 16 here. Oh, we had to wait for these guys for a few. I've never seen horses on the course at Bijou. I have never seen that. 
a unique day. Downhill, for that, 471. I'm trying to go straight through that gap right there and not Heiser out, but there's the basket. Nate throwing a similar line as me, maybe a little bit turned over. This one's there. I mean, it says 471, but it's downhill. The wind can the wind can be a little tricky. Mess, you know, kind of messing up the shot. If you if you have the, typically we have like a almost tail right to left, so you can turn it over too much or you can not turn it enough. But like you said, it is there. The distance wise, being downhill, it's not quite playing 471. The biggest. The biggest task is missing those trees right in the middle of those, that little cluster right in the center. You can go left of them, you can go right of them, but when you hit them, you just take, without a doubt, you take birdie out of There's a Mando on this hole. Reti if you miss it. Mm hmm It is to protect hole 27 All coming right. back up the hill. And I would say really the only people that miss in that Mando are the ones that are throwing a back end. They're really trying to push that right side. Yeah, or just throwing something super stable and just like, just like over cranking it. Yeah, that too. Is this where your drive landed? Mm hmm. Oh, just over the top. Not bad. Gave it a little run. There you go, Will. Nice comebacker. Definitely. A good comeback for par there. So is everybody putting for par at this point? Yes. Okay. Nice par putt. I like it. Thanks. Yeah, the, for everybody. this little stretch of holes with the meadow on the left side of all of them, with the mountains behind them, some of the most yeah, beautiful same. disc golf I've ever played. Hole 17, 275. I'm throwing up the middle with an eagle, trying to miss that tree that right there. One. Um, a lot of guys will throw like a right-hand forehand out into the meadow and then back if they have it. Back door. Is this... Is this pin move every every round, or does it stay here? I think we, uh, you know, we'll see in, in the future rounds. Fair enough. I I think we played the par four one round, maybe. Okay. And then maybe here the other two rounds. Personally, this is my favorite pin position on the hole. And please, let us know in the comments what you think. But I love this one because... Yeah. It's a cool shot to get a tunnel like this almost keeps getting narrower. It, it baits you into the tunnel, and the tunnel yeah. is so fun to throw. Yeah. Nice. And then there's that outside Great forehand, line, if you like that, too. You know? Yeah, that was perfect by Lance. But I like, I like the display of options on this one, you know, being able to just toss way out wide and hope for something to finish back in or just attack straight at it. So. I even like the approach shot on this one. That one wasn't very good, but yeah. <laughs> Should be all right. This is needs drive, right? Yeah, you got all the way up. A oh, whole bummer. Heartbreak Hotel. Here's my comebacker. Probably 28 feet. Hate to see it. Am side. Oh, no, I did not see that coming, Dan. I hate bogey so much, I'd rather take a double. Bummer. <laughs> so. Oh, and that was where Lance landed? Oh, my god. Yeah, he skipped all the way back over. Great drive, Lance. 
Yeah, that forehand play is pretty solid out to the side, especially with somebody's power and accuracy like Lance. Well, we're going to see him here on hole 18, 440. This is playing to, is that the, the D position? Yeah, I'm not sure the exact one, but it's out to the right meadow. Um, yeah, this 440. Hole, this hole has two completely different fairways, which is kind of a unique but really fun style. Is You've got two baskets over here to the right, and then if you were to look straight off the tee pad to the left, there's another four pin positions over there. Yeah, so. there's six pin locations a, up yeah, and a yeah. total, literally two completely different holes off of one tee pad. So, right. one of my favorite holes out here at BSU. Oh, 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 Dylan. I think that is the goal here. Flip something up or force something over. Get around those two really close trees to the right side of the screen. Just <laughs> like that? Halo Destroyer. Halo Destroyer, nice. Just over, pretty much my most overstable distances. So I just kind of put it flat and yeah, just let it ride. Just pound it and let it go. Oh, that was a close bid. That's longer than it looks on camera. Here's Will from 25's fairway. Just pitching up with a lefty flick. Everybody got out there pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. I know some of these guys have the power to get all the way there. I know I don't, but um, that being said, even with the power to get all the way there, it's easy to catch something or overturn it a little bit, just just enough to put yourself. Oh, my goodness. That's one of the... Oh. oh. That would have been a bit of a bonus bird. Let's look at some stats for hole 18. I definitely think 18 is the How biggest. many birdies do you think there were? Oh, gosh. If I had to guess, 27 say... players in the MPO field. 27 players? I would say there was one birdie. Andrew Gutierrez, single birdie Did on Did I get 18. it? One birdie? Right. Yeah, I knew it. Nice bird, Andrew. And by the way, I have not seen any of the stats or any of the coverage from this tournament. No spoilers for Spanky. Nope. I like to do this blind. Pars for the rest. Yeah, come catch us back on the back nine. Yeah, we're actually kind of like working our way out of what we consider the gauntlet and moving into like, the home stretch. Yeah, the home stretch, exactly. Like, you know, I think maybe 19 is like the last hole. Like, in the woods, there's still a lot of wooded holes left, but we've kind of got through the tightest part of it and, um, Looking forward yeah. to it. Yeah, me too. See you guys there. See you there.